Oh, here we go. Poop in time. Open on <laughs> Let the poop into the hole. Open the trap door and oh, let open. the poop in. Poop in time. Don't get any peepees in the hole or it will start to smell. I need a good breakdown. I think you need to talk about cranking the handle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to turn the handle once. When you, because you're not allowed to pee like directly into those holes, right? Oh, yeah, you don't blast the holes directly. Don't you blast your pee pee in the holes? Pee pee in the holes. It's from compost time. Hey guys, Jess and Jay here from Tin Can Creative, and today we're super casual because we have some things we're going to talk to you about. Some very common everyday things that we all run into. Because everybody poops and everybody pees. It's my favorite book. <laughs> everybody poops. Yeah, so we're here to talk a little bit about something that we got recently. We never really imagined us having this thing because in the past we heard people mentioned compost toilet and we were just like, oh, that's absolutely disgusting. Ew. Like we have, we avoided going to certain Airbnb locations because we were, we were like, oh, compost toilet, we don't want to deal with that. That's disgusting. But we were extremely naive. Living on the road for almost a year now, we've come in contact with a lot of other full-time RVers, people living on the road, and people that have become our friends, all of which have a composting toilet. And they absolutely love them. And we love talking about poop, so... It's one of our favorite things. Yeah, to meet up with them and talk about poop with them and their poop and their toilet and way of handling it, it's been pretty awesome. So we were kind of stoked on trying out one of these things. So we were actually in a spot for over a month in Victor, Idaho, staying at a friend's house. So we had access to some extra power tools, plenty of water and their bathroom. So it really wasn't too bad to rip apart our bathroom and install one of these compost toilets. So how do composting toilets work exactly? Contrary to popular belief, a composting toilet isn't simply a five gallon bucket that you toss sawdust into and then defecate into. It's actually a little bit more complex than that. These modern day composting toilets have two separate chambers to separate the pee-pee and the poo-poo, your liquids and your solids. In doing so, you avoid like creating sewage that you do in your black tank. Kind of the front of the toilet has this little area where it funnels the urine into a urine bottle, which you take out and empty every, three every days. two to three days. And the solids tank is the a chamber. chamber, which has a trap door and you open it and you put this stuff called coco core in it. Some people which, use peat moss. Peat moss, yeah, cocoa core. And you poop into that, and then you churn the crank handle, and it mixes everything up. And there's also a fan that draws air out of that chamber and helps dry out the, the solids and helps break them down so they're not as nasty and they don't smell. And that will probably have to change depending on the humidity and things like that and how much we're pooping once every three to four weeks? Yeah, so once every three to four weeks, not terrible. I don't know, we haven't done it yet. We love boondocking. I think you guys might know this by now if you've watched some of our other videos. And we like being out for long periods of time in remote locations and ideally staying for free. A lot of the reasons that we wanted to go with a composting toilet just revolve around that. Yeah, we want to extend not only the life, now we don't have to use a black tank anymore, but also extend the fresh water. The old toilet used a lot of water and um, this will help us have more fresh water on hand. Yeah, I mean, our old toilet supposedly used only a pint of water, but I mean, to get some things down, you had to like get a lot of water in there and chop Crank it. Chop it. Yeah. <laughs> Plus we had a, the smell that we'd actually get from the toilet and the seal that would, I think it was kind of going towards the end there. So we were getting a lot of smells from the black tank coming up into our bathroom, which wasn't very pleasant, so. So far with this toilet, we actually haven't had any smells whatsoever. So no. that's been good. And we're like th two and a half, three weeks in. Yeah, three weeks, I think. And just in general, like 
we should be able to stay at a place for a lot longer because we're able to cart out the solids and the liquids much more easily and we could deal with gray water it's not too bad to deal with like if we had to cart it off and put it somewhere but dealing with with the black the black tank liquids um i would not want to have to handle that and like move it somewhere so it that involved moving the entire trailer uh we before we even hit the road we were we had our trailer in our side yard and we would stay in there when we airbnb our house sometimes and we were terrified to use the bathroom because we didn't want to have to truck that out and deal deal with it later but with the composting toilet we could have probably pretty easily dealt with the gray water by maybe dumping it down our drains and, and just pulled out the the solids and the liquids as needed so if the trailer was parked in a place for an extended period of time we can easily change out the composting toilet debris the peas and the poos and and get that out of there so that that's that's a huge factor right there it's just being able to park it for longer periods so jay's going to talk a little bit about installing the toilet i had very little to do with the installation so i'm gonna have him talk about that i however while the other toilet was removed and jay capped off the black tank was able to simply put some wallpaper up to freshen it up in there. Oh, it looks so much better. <laughs> um, and we're super excited about that. And there's a link. We're, we're going to link to some of the products we used and things like that in the in the notes of the video. So, um, and I'm sure Jay has outlined uh, more details on the post, the blog post that we have on our website. So. Yeah, so I'll just talk about installing this thing super briefly. By super briefly, I mean under three minutes or five minutes. So installing this thing is like super simple your installation is going to vary depending on where you're at but like essentially you just uh, bolt some hardware to the floor that the toilet attaches to you run some electricity to a fan and then you vent the fan seems pretty simple but we're currently living in our airstream so it becomes a little more difficult and airstreams are kind of inherently a pain to work on there's not a lot of access panels basically um, had to do a couple things and um, if you're putting it over an existing back black tank, you're gonna have to seal up the black tank hole. I could link to a little device that allows you to do that pretty easily. It's like $7 or something. It's just a plug that fills up the black tank. And then I had to build a platform that the toilet could sit on so it could sit above the black tank shroud flange. I don't know what it what this thing is, but it's like a, a thing that the old toilet would bolt down to. So to bring everything up, make Level. it even with that, screw down the hardware, put in the toilet, had to run some electricity from behind our breaker box and run, run that to the toilet because there was nothing in the bathroom nearby or accessible because the walls are all like aluminum and there's tiny holes, access holes. And then venting the fan. The original fan was very awkward and it had this large housing and I decided to vent it into the black tank vent and the black tank itself. I had to reduce the size from like a four inch or so diameter down to inch and a half pipe. And so I got a couple things, kind of made this custom fan housing, ran the electricity into that, and that worked pretty well. I used like a reducer and then put a Y connection in line with the black tank vent. I didn't want to do a full on install video because our install would be so specific that it probably wouldn't be helpful. But if you have a trailer that has like a lot of electric, like electricity or an easy way to vent something, this shouldn't be a problem. All in all, it probably would have taken a day to do this, half a day. I should mention too, it wasn't hard at all for us to get rid of our old toilet. Jay had simply posted on a local uh, Facebook group that we were just looking to get rid of it. We probably could have made like 50 bucks or 100 bucks, but yeah. we just really wanted to get rid of it, not have to hold on to it or take it to the dump or something like that because it was totally a normal functioning RV toilet and we cleaned it really well. Um, and I think within 20 minutes or something of you post, right? Like really quickly. There were quickly, a couple people that were interested. There yeah. were a bunch of people interested and they just, someone came and like, I think Jay just requested a six pack of beer. I should ask for a case of beer, but six pack is fine. And um, yeah, and a guy came and he was super excited about the toilet and he took it. And so that was great. We didn't have to worry about um, getting rid of it, so. So now that our toilet's gone, we're pretty committed to using this compost toilet. Yeah. Um, pretty excited about it. Uh, we plan on creating a new video in 
few weeks after using it, maybe after we we dump our deposits once or twice. Yeah, there'll definitely be a video of that process because as Jay mentioned, we haven't gotten to that point yet. Uh, we've been using it, it's been great, doesn't smell. There's definitely some interesting things that have happened, but nothing that, you know, but mostly user error and mostly just like getting used to it. Maybe we'll do some usage tips next time too. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah, if, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like it, subscribe, and leave us a comment below if you have any questions or just want to say hi. Yeah, what do you want to know about composting toilet? Comment below and we'll answer it in our next video. Thanks. Should I do my poop song now? Compo mm -hmm. Compost time. Open up the door and try to poop into the hole. Compost time. You don't want to accidentally in the hole Please don't pee pee straight into the hole Please don't pee pee straight into the hole Oops need to dry out dry out Is that it? <laughs> Don't you try to pee pee in the hole, it's gotta dry out.